Got another harder titration calculation for you to try. So this one's number seven. There it is there. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so we'll start looking at the answers now. So as you can see, I've got my little diagram at the bottom that's just helping visualize what uh, is going on in the question. So they've taken some vinegar, taken 10 centimeters cubed out, put it in this 250 cm cubed volumetric flask, so they've diluted it in other words. It's gone into the burette, and then it's been titrated against 25 cm cubed samples of that concentration, barium hydroxide, and they've found that the mean titra 25.45 cm cubed. So we've got to calculate the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed of the ethanoic acid that's in that original bottle of vinegar. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is work out how many moles of barium hydroxide we used in the titration. So that's concentration times volume, but remember volume has to be in decimeters cubed. So you can see that's coming out at 1.125 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. So we're going to use the mole ratio now to work out how many moles of ethanoic acid must have been in this 25.45 cm cubed titra. So it's just going to be double this from that 1 to 2 ratio. So that's 2.25 times 10 to the minus 3. So now what we can do is work out how many moles of ethanoic acid were in the 250 cm cubed and therefore in that 10 cm cubed that's come from the bottle. So the way we do that is we divide the moles by the, the volume that they're in. So divide it by 25.45 tells us how many moles must have been in one cubic centimetre. Multiply by 250 and then that's telling us how many moles of ethanoic acid must have been in there. But remember it's the same as the number of moles in there. So the three significant figures that's coming out at 0.0221. I'm keeping the full number in the calculator hence those dots there. So all we need to do now is work out the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed of the ethanoic acid that's in that 10 cm cubed. So we know there's that many moles in 10 cm cubed. So if we divide the moles by the volume, but remember the volume has to be in decimeters cubed, it puts it into moles per decimeter cubed. So there's the answer there, 2.21 moles per decimeter cubed. 